71% of our planet is covered in water, but only 3% of that is fresh water. Of that, less than 1% is accessible. Our fresh water is a limited resource, and environmental toxins like PCBs contaminated our water and the fish we eat. In 2014, EPA found that 94% of fish tissue sampled from U.S. waterways contained PCBs and other toxic chemicals. PCBs are not only present in U.S. waterways, but they're now considered the most widespread contaminant in the world, being used by every industrialized nation. Once these PCBs, also known as contaminants of concern, get into our waterways, they'll virtually stay there until they're removed. So what's being done? Today the most common way of removing PCB contamination is dredging, but it's extremely costly, time-consuming, and damaging to wildlife and the environment. Not only that, but dredging is also known to resuspend contaminants back into our water. Thankfully, there's a greener solution with EcoSpears. Here at EcoSpears, we imagine a world where everyone has access to clean water. We've developed a better and greener solution to extract and destroy PCBs, dioxins, and other chlorinated toxins from the environment forever, all without the use of any harmful chemicals or byproducts. With EcoSpears, we are creating better technology cleanup solutions that are protective of the environment and people's health. Our truly green approach uses less emissions, energy, and water than traditional cleanup methods. SPEARS, short for Sorbent Polymer Extraction and Remediation System, is a scalable in-situ remediation technology to extract PCBs from contaminated sediment. Each spike is made from plastic, filled with our solvent, and then inserted into a malleable and scalable geosynthetic mat liner. The mat liners are then deployed down into the contaminated sediment, or around challenging and sensitive areas, such as wetlands, harbors, bridges, and hotspots. Once settled into the sediment, Spears acts like a sponge, passively absorbing PCBs from the sediment around it with a radius of influence of 4 inches on center from each spike. How, you ask? The brilliance of the solution was discovered, validated, and then patented by NASA. Because PCBs, DDT, and dioxins are hydrophobic, the polyethylene plastic of the Spears allows a semi-permeable membrane for PCBs to get absorbed into the plastic and into the solvent, giving these toxins a preferable habitat, attracting them from the sediment to the pore water into the outer plastic membrane of the Spears and finally to the solvent inside. Once the cleanup level goals are achieved, the Spears and mats are safely removed and retrieved where they then enter our green chemical dehalogenation process occurring in ambient temperatures and pressures, destroying your PCBs and your liability forever. We invite you to join us and help turn our world into a place where everyone has access to clean water, one spear at a time.